one of the most common uh, things you're going to do when uh, logging into Jasmine is try to get, move some data from your local Hope Institute or a computer facility to Jasmine so you can work on it. Um, uh, or uh, at the end of the project, you might want to move the files out off as well. Uh, well there's lots of uh, articles that are in the help pages to help you with various transfer mechanisms, but the one I'm going to look at here for, uh, for brevity is rsync because it's simple and it's very generic. So let's have a look at a, a simple rsync copy. So if I've got some data on my laptop, this is a screenshot of my laptop, I'm in a particular directory, I've got a file and a directory full of some other data here. Uh, and I'm going to put it onto Jasmine. So the destination here is a group workspace and I'm going to use jasmine-xver1 as the, as the method, of, uh, as the machine to transfer it to, which will have the group workspace mounted. It's, the, it's an edge machine here. It's not one you'd work on and do work, but it is, it's there to, to just do transfers. Um, so I'm going to use as uh, SSH uh, uh, to lo log into the machine just to check that it's, uh, I can get onto it with my credentials. It's worth doing this check. So this is SSH spepler at uh, jasmine Expert one And as you can see, I could log in, which is the useful thing. So this is a really useful method of checking your credentials work. Um, the destination, uh, as as it's always mounted in the same place, slash group workspaces, slash jasmine, slash cedarproc is the group workspace that I'm headed for. I've got a directory underneath there called spepler, as you can see, and it's got some stuff in it. Uh, so that's me checking that the destination is there. Then I'm going to log out and I'm back on my laptop. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to, uh, I've gone into a directory called, uh, uh, which ends in demo. And I'm going to use the rsync command uh, it, it, with a, a couple of arguments. So it's got it's got a minus b option just to, it's for boast, and that's very helpful to see what you're doing, so you can see which files are getting transferred. In this case, I've got a single file, uh, and then I put in the rest of the syntax is basically the destination, and it's very similar to the SSH syntax. So you put your username at the machine you're going to, in this case, Jasmine Expo one and then there's a colon, and then the destination directory. And that will, if I show that in action, it's, it's uh, you'll get the login message because it is using SSH, and it tells you what, it, how much data was sent, and, uh, um, and that should be over on the machine there. It, it works for directories also, so if you use a, a minus R option that does it recursively, in this case I'm giving it the EAE-97 directory as a as a uh, as an example directory, and it's going to move across and get it into that thing. So that's that. It's in operation. It's uh, moved all the files. You get a message for each file when it's done. As I said at the beginning, there's other ways to transfer data, and those are all in the articles. Okay, there's a set of links to the, where those articles are. And I'll hand back over to Thank you. Okay, so here are the list of topics that we've covered today. Um, we hope it's been useful.